Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addicts. I have shaved my head. Uh, well, I shaved it the other day. It was actually grade one. It's grown, um, but um, it was getting a bit out of control. I'm not receding. It's always been like that ever since I was a kid. So before anybody says in the comments, um, I like your receding hairline. It's not receding. It's not receding, guys, at all. Um, I was in an interview the other night. I was being interviewed for once um, by Must See Audio. I'm going to leave all the links to where you can listen to the podcast in the description below. So make sure you check out the description, guys. Make sure you look in that description and you can see what platform you want to watch it on. Because uh, it's on many platforms, iTunes, Spotify and many others. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting conversation. Um, we had a couple of beers and... Uh, n- genuinely a very nice guy he's going to come on alien addict soon as well uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna bugger off now and uh let you listen to this five or six minute clip but uh, i hope you're all doing well and i will see you soon well security I, i've watched their stuff for for ages um and like i when i first came across that it was like it, it there was a lot of clearly hoaxy stuff going on with that stuff and then it kind of went the other way for him it seems where it drifted into things that seemed more credible and yeah i mean yeah, it's... interviewing people um he had stephen greer on i mean <laughs> that's uh he's an interesting fellow well i, um, I actually had that on my little, on the little thing of notes i brought up to ask you what you think about mr greer i've stuck up for dr greer mr greer Stephen. Ned Flanders with that moustache. Uh, I've stuck up for him a few <laughs> times. Um, have you watched the recent documentary? I haven't yet, no. no but I've, 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 I've watched no. the others. <laughs> yes, I, I actually liked uh, Unacknowledged. Mm. I liked Unacknowledged. I was Unacknowledged the little alien? The little. The no, little that guy? was. Uh, Serious, 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 uh, serious disclosure or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I see. I enjoyed that one as well. I found that that little mummified fetus thing like really interesting. Funny story. We, I, I did a video sticking up for because what happened was with. Do you know what happened with the the mummy, the little fetus? I, I know it got to a point where it got really blurry as what what the DNA results actually were. This is fucking amazingly interesting if you actually look into it. So what happened was Stephen got a guy called Gary Nolan, which uh, was, uh, was a doctor, mm-hmm. and he he was doing all the, the DNA results, everything, looking at the getting a team to look at the bone structure, absolutely everything, and he was totally on Stephen's side throughout most of the documentary well all of it pretty much and then all of a sudden gary starts to work for ttsa oh really and then ttsa put an article up to to the stars academy web- as well for for listeners yeah, to that the stars might not academy. be into this yeah. stuff yeah to the stars academy uh, tom delong's company mm-hmm. put an article up saying that this thing is very unusual, but it is only a fetus. But Gary Nolan was now with TTSA. Right. So Greer kicked off. He went on a live stream. He looked like he was going to cry. And I, I've put a video out about this, and it's, it's not done really well, to be fair. Um, to be fair, YouTube and UFO videos don't do well anymore anyway. <laughs> Um, YouTube and anything that isn't, uh, it seems to be people digging toys out of Play-Doh or yes. tech. That seems to be, oh, oh, sorry, or random vloggers that do like 24-hour vlogging in their house. That's yeah. what YouTube is now. It's, it's fucking, it's, it's, it's bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, I will find another platform. But for anybody listening to this, I'm Alien Addict. Come and, come and give me some love. Absolutely. <laughs> The, the, um, the link is in the description if you go and look at the description because I'll make sure it is. I appreciate that, Lee. Um, yeah, 
this is this is the way it, I love this subject, and I, I I shouldn't really, but it's the drama in it. I, I'm I'm the drama. If a lot of people are honest, they love the drama in this subject, and there's a lot of drama. And if you look at Stephen Greer and Tom DeLong, there is a like some sort. Well, like Stephen Greer, maybe not Tom DeLong, to the Stars Academy. Mm-hmm. Stephen Greer thinks Tom's being used. Okay. At the same time, I a lot of people have said to me, you know, Stephen's, he, he is definitely a, he's not in this for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. And I think there's probably a 80% of Stephen is in it for the right reasons. Yeah. But it's that 20% that I need to make good money. I do think he's... Um... If it was the 1970s, he'd probably have a cult. He yes. has that cult of personality. Yeah. So when I say 20% that he needs to make money, I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. I'm just not into the whole, um, you know, the spiritual thing where he summons these UFOs and they come out at sea. I don't, I don't know if I buy that. Yeah. If, if, if he can show me how this is actually done without me paying £20,000 or whatever it costs. To be part to of go- his club. Yeah. I, the, the club bothers me. It's in the same way as um, the the other guy that bothers me a little bit is Roger. Sorry, is it Roger Wilcock? Is it Roger? David Wilcock. David Wilcock. David Smallcock. Yeah. Da- David, yeah. David Wilcock, yeah. F- the floppy headed fella. Um, I, he, he just seems to waffle what appears to be like completely unsubstantiated nonsense and then say, and you can read more about this in my book. I, I get, I get so upset by the, the constant, the, I, I, I'm grand with people being authors and I understand you get people that specialize in something and they write books and they, I, I will watch hours of certain authors speak because, because I'm just interested in what they have to say. But I don't understand why these people only come out of the woodwork when they've got a book. Yeah. I mean, we, David Wilcock, I mean, a quick one on that. I mean, the whole Corey Good thing with the guy that has con- has been forward in time and this, that, and the other, it's just absolute garbage. Yeah, absolutely. How it's... anybody believes that sort of shit yeah. is beyond me. It really is. But the Greer thing... I think this, this. I think there's a lot of good in Greer, and 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 I do. I sometimes I feel sorry for. It. If you watch the new documentary, mm-hmm. there's a part of it in, in it where he bursts into tears, and <laughs> if it's fake, then he's a fucking amazing actor because yeah. he's good. It's good crying. It's like it's like almost like uh, a just- sob. He does seem like a sensitive soul. Yes, he, I do think. I think he's a very, a very sensitive man. It's, I, um, I was amazed though when I first saw him because I saw lots of like pictures of his head just talking, and then there was—I can't remember what it was. There was one thing I watched of him where he was stood up, like he's fucking jacked. Right? He's yes, huge. He's a big bastard. <laughs> he, he's one big bastard. Um, do you do you like my little Graham meme, the home one? Yes, I do like it. 